Welcome to another Recall by Data IQ video. If you found yourself here, you're probably interested in the fields of machine learning and AI. Even compared to just five years ago, these fields have changed dramatically. My name is Kenji, and I'm a data scientist and YouTuber. Today, I'm gonna to talk about some exciting trends in the AI and machine learning space that you should watch out for as these fields continue to develop. The first major trend comes in the form of cutting edge new model development. We're seeing unbelievable advancements in generative models and NLP like GPT-3 and Dolly 2. We're also seeing advancements in speech models like Whisper and in general multi-purpose unsupervised and semi-supervised models from companies like Meta, Google, NVIDIA, and other tech giants. There's massive optimism around GANs, transformers, diffusion models, and reinforcement learning techniques. We're in a stage of unprecedented growth that's likely not gonna slow down anytime soon. While this growth is amazing and the models are incredibly powerful, there's still a gap between development and active use of many of these models in industry. Many companies don't have the proper data infrastructure or relevant use cases to leverage these advanced tools. I expect a massive push towards implementation of these models, possibly even more so than innovation, as companies improve their infrastructure. As models get increasingly advanced, we're gonna need to find ways to monitor and regulate them. Models that can produce deep fakes present major issues with authenticity. Language models can perpetuate propaganda and generative models can create images or texts that are beyond unsettling. As these models get increasingly advanced, there'll need to be new ways that we evaluate how they fit into our human society. While AI ethics has been a focal point for a while now, I believe that new problems will arise that we aren't capable of evaluating with the current tools that we have. Regulation of AI models will also be a hot topic. Legislation cannot possibly keep up with the pace of innovation, so how do we make laws that can scale to advancements five or even 10 years down the road? And who's responsible for the ethical dilemmas that come out of innovative models? Is it the data scientists that create them or the companies that fund and sell them? Speaking of companies, the way they're interacting with ML and AI models is rapidly changing. In the last few years, there's been a popularization of ML and AI operations. This includes tooling and a philosophy around systematizing these models and making them scalable within an organization. Some companies are running thousands of machine learning models and they need to always evaluate them, retrain them, and keep them functional in real time. All these crazy models are useless if they're unreliable for the business cases that underlie them. One of the platforms that's working to systematize the use of data is DataIQ. They're a central solution for model design, development, and the management of AI applications. The companies that are gonna have the most success with these trends in the future are the ones that can build sustainable infrastructure and establish clear AI and ML governments, which is something that DataIQ promises. Another thing that DataIQ is doing is they're making massive strides towards ML and AI explainability, which is the next trend on our list. In order to get the majority of business decision makers to adopt advanced models, Many of them need to be able to have some fundamental understanding of the model inputs, the outputs, and what happens under the hood. Model explainability is also a huge part of AI and ethics that we touched on earlier because it helps us to eliminate as much bias as possible in these models. It's also important for increasing trust in ML and AI within an organization. Explainability goes through the whole pipeline. Companies are constantly looking for more transparency around where data is coming from, how data is being stored and engineered, what models are using it, and what the model outputs are. In the past few years, there have been some awesome leaps forward in model explainability for neural nets, and I'm looking forward to seeing the next evolution of explainability for the cutting edge models that I described earlier in this video. There's been a lot of focus, especially earlier in this video, on massive models but machine learning models may even be more useful if they're smaller and more efficient. It's often inefficient to send data back to train on a massive model and then send the results back to a device. Edge computing and tiny ML are developing areas where machine learning models operate solely on small devices that can be disconnected from the internet or from a broader network. Edge computing allows processing to be done on site and only the most important and relevant data being sent back to a data center. A good example of the value here is sitting right in your pocket. I've been traveling all over the world for my work this past year, and I often don't speak the native language of many of the places that I travel to. I've also found that wireless signal 
isn't great with my current cell phone carrier when I'm overseas. Wouldn't it be great if the most cutting edge text-to-speech translator worked completely offline? This is what we're getting towards, and in some places, it already exists. Edge computing presents the opportunity for large-scale ML to have a tremendous impact globally in rural areas or maybe even underwater. Hopefully, this video helped you to get a better understanding of the direction that machine learning and AI are going. I hope you're as excited as I am about what the future holds. If you're interested in learning about how AI is applied in some specific domains, check out some of the other videos on the Recall by Data IQ channel, or maybe even check out one on my channel. Thank you so much for watching and good luck on your data science journey.